This is Lee Sterling of ParamountSports.com, and I am really excited about this weekend because how about this game? It's a game we've been waiting for for years. I believe they were supposed to play last year. It was canceled due to COVID. It's Michigan. It's Big Blue. The Michigan Wolverines at home laying six and a half against the Washington Huskies. So before I break down and predict this game, let me lo let you know what's popping at Paramount Sports this weekend. Well, first ever 50-unit selection in the NFL Week 1. Never released a Week 1 NFL 50-unit play max wager before. We do it sometimes Week 3, 4, Week 10, but never Week 1. I found the right game, the right situation, the right matchup. One team's way overrated, one team's way underrated. Weather looks good, so we're going to fire away. We're 52 and 18 on these games going back the last 15 years. So you want to get this game two ways to hop on board and get the 50-unit max wager. ParamountSports.com, three weeks of our phone service, $297 with coupon code SAVE100, or the entire season, normally $1597, use coupon code SAVE300, just $1297. ParamountSports.com or 800-400-9741. Now, on to this game that I've been waiting for personally for a long time, many years since it was announced. Michigan at home, like six and a half against Washington. The first quarter of the game last week, the Michigan game, I'm like, wow, same old Michigan. They're playing Western Michigan. You know, it's back and forth. I think they were up 10 to 7 at the end of the first quarter. But from that point forward, I saw a different team. Cade McNamara, quarterback, I thought he was accurate. I think he throws one of the best long balls. We haven't seen the long ball involved in Michigan football in a long time. Joe Milton last year just couldn't throw it. Um, Offensive line wasn't good enough, and they've got two running backs this year. From that second quarter on, Hassan Hawkins, uh, also Blake Corm, looked really good. So um, nice duo. You know, one's bigger and stronger. One's a little bit more of a scat back. I think they're figuring out how to use them. Their defense, new defensive coordinator, Mike McDonald. Not Michael McDonald from the Doobie Brothers. I know you guys are going to throw that joke out there. Um, but no, Mike McDonald from the Baltimore Ravens takes over for Don Brown. Brown was just, it was time for him to go. I like the new principles, more 3-4. Um, I like his blitz schemes. They come after you. And on the other side, I think Washington's in free fall. I watched this team last year, talked to a bunch of people I know inside their program. I'm like, and, and who are very familiar with him, Dylan Morris just doesn't impress me. I know he was a highly rated quarterback out of high school, Everything is dink and dunk underneath. And he's even not that, you know, accurate. He's not a great runner. So they lost to FCS Montana last week. Montana didn't even play a game last year. Okay, I know they were in the FCS semifinals in 2019, but a team program hadn't played in almost two years. So that bothers me. And then also usually teams, after they lose to an FCS opponent, I've checked, sometimes they come back and play okay but they usually can't get all the way back and play their A game. So I'm worried about that. I'm worried about injuries at wide receiver. They've got like three or four stud receivers, a couple that will be out for this game, a couple are game time decision. They just don't have any game breakers at running back or wide receiver. So, and then maybe the final nail in the coffin, they don't get pressure on the quarterback. Only 10 sacks in four games last year, just one in the game last week against Montana, I'm taking Michigan. I'm not saying they're going to win the conference, not saying they're going to beat Ohio State, but I think they win this game 31-20 to over Washington. You want to hop on board and get that 50-unit max wager, ParamountSports.com or 800-400-9741.